Right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. we got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. All right, thanks a lot, Paul, and thank you for tuning in to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. I'm Rich Walsh, you can give me a call tonight, 412-575-2600 on the Bordis and Bordis hotline. Or you can always reach out to me on Twitter. I'm going to be logging on here. In a couple minutes, and send me your questions. I'm at Richie Walsh. I'm easy to find. We're talking about the Buckos who are currently playing right now in a 3-3 tie over at PNC Park. It was a delayed start because of the weather. We've had many weather issues here for the last month and a half. It's been a, it's been a rough uh, month and a half of rain and cold weather, and it's been hurting baseball, golf, everything right now. And just as it's starting to get nice, you have rain today that delayed the start about an hour and a half. I think first pitch was around 8.35. And the Pirates got out to a, a quick start. Two runs in the first inning. Chad Cool had a rough second inning, if you were watching. Gave up two homers, but settled down a little bit. Uh, Andrew McCutcheon, he has one hit, scored a run. He had a double in the third inning and then went on to score in a sack fly a little bit later in the inning. But Gregory Polanco put one out in right. And that's where the game is right now, 3-3. And meanwhile, Andrew McCutcheon's homecoming. What do you think of it so far? Uh, his reception at PNC Park, do you agree with it? I was at PNC Park yesterday for the first game for him back, and, you know, it was pretty special seeing the fans there. A lot of McCutcheon jerseys. I actually saw one fan that had a orange and black Pirates jersey and Pirates hat, number 22, Andrew McCutcheon on it. Um, so he was kind of rooting for the Pirates, I guess, with orange and black uh, and rooting for the Giants. A lot of families coming with McCutcheon jerseys with Pirates fans and it seemed like maybe the fans that were there that maybe don't support nutting and don't support what he's doing and how he's managing and overseeing this whole team uh, with the money issues and not spending it that that is uh, maybe they went out to to see McCutcheon and support McCutcheon and the fan and you know the PNC Park and the Pirates had a pretty good crowd yesterday I don't know what the exact attendance was, but I was there, and uh, it, was a, it was a nice crowd, probably maybe the best crowd so far. Um, a lot of people there, maybe, uh, you know, a lot of media, obviously, because it was a big event. Andrew McCutcheon talked, and you'll hear from him again coming up at 11 o'clock tonight. And, and talking about the Pirates and their success, their early season success, uh, it was interesting, his take on why the Pirates have been so good so early this year and you know maybe uh, what he thinks about them maintaining it throughout the season um, you can tell that he definitely still misses Pittsburgh still misses the fans here he loves this city never wanted to go I wish the Pirates if we're gonna if we're gonna get on this topic again I wish the Pirates would have offered him something I think it would have at least made the Pirates look a little bit better hey we're gonna offer you um, 10 million a year for four years this is what we think you're worth and then the, and then the ball's in Andrew McCutcheon's court, whether he thinks he should take that or not. You know, I'm not saying lowball the guy, but, um, you know, he's in his 30s now. And what is he worth? Is he worth $14 million a year, $15 million a year? Right now, the numbers, I would say, show it. But he is the face of the franchise. And if you're going to pay him three years, $15 million a year, would he go for $45 million for three years? That's something that I probably would have done if I was the Pirates. Um, but I don't mind trading him. I still don't think they got enough for him. Um, I don't mind trading him, and I don't mind trading Cole. I'm, I'm, on the, I'm, I'm, I'm totally on board with trading those guys. I wish they would have traded McCutcheon last year instead of this year and um, got a little bit more for him. But, uh, I, you know, my, my issue, which I've spoken about many times here on this show, is that they haven't spent that $20 million that they saved on those guys. And right now, when you look at the payrolls in the major leagues, they are – they are fourth to last, 88 million. The average payroll is 138 million in the majors. They're 50 million dollars less, so they're saving 50 million there. They got 50 million from revenue share, and they got 50 million from Disney deal, and they got 20 million from um, trading those guys away. But they're producing, and that's what you gotta love. You gotta love the way this team is fighting and, and winning right now. I love it. I am a I'm a Pirates fan. I grew up in Pittsburgh. If you didn't know that, I'm a I'm a Pirates fan. One of the most devastating sports moments in my life was when uh, the Pirates lost to the Atlanta Braves. Uh, Sid Bream that crushed me as a kid. So I want to see the Pirates win, but I want to see them be maybe more competitive. Right now, 22 and 16. Imagine if they would have spent that 20 million dollars and went out and got a start another starting pitcher, made a couple of other players that could have helped them. 
hey, maybe they would have 26 or 27 wins right now and be a legit contender. I still think they're in a battle for that second wild card spot. Give me a call. I want to hear what you think. Coming up next, 412-575-2600 is the number. Looking forward to hearing from you. Back in two minutes. The Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call is brought to you by Ireland Contracting, putting new roofs on Pittsburgh homes for over 25 years. Call Ireland Contracting at 1-800-NEW-ROOF.